Hello, my name is Matt, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to transform any files that you've got on your disk into a hex array so you can include it in your code and you can use the contents of the file in your code without having to read it at runtime. Before we start, I just want to kindly ask you to please visit my website and check out the posts that I've got there. I've got many software development related posts, so you might like one or two of them. So yeah, please check it out. It will help me out massively. So let's get into it. So what's the motivation behind this little tip that I'm going to give you guys? Well, essentially, I remember being in the situation where I wanted to basically include the contents of a binary file into my uh, C++ code so I can just use it from within the binary, from within the actual code uh, without having to read it. So specifically, I've, I think I had like a, a very small image I want to basically use in one of my OpenGL programs. I basically just wanted to sort of copy that image into my binary and distribute it with the binary so that all the contents are located inside the binary. In other words, I had an image like this one. I've got an image here called uh, one by onepng It's just a one by one pixel. It's actually a very small image, as you can see, is only 95 bytes. What I wanted to do is basically to get all the binary um, from that file and put it inside my C++ code in a vector or a byte array or something like that and be able to use those contents within my, my, my program. So essentially, uh, there are multiple ways of doing this, and I was actually using hex dump uh, with a combination of S uh, sed commands and other formatting tricks to essentially get all of the bytes that you can see here, you know, these bits here inside, and then these are the um, offsets. So I was trying to get basically all of the, uh, the important bytes and then split them by sort of two characters here, which is a essentially a whole byte and then transform that into a C++ array. But that's a very cumbersome way of doing, especially if you're using hex dump with a combination of sed or whatever TR commands or whatever. Uh, this is very cumbersome. And I vividly remember sort of talking about this to uh, one of my coworkers in the past. And he was like, hey, there's this tool you can use called the XXD and essentially does what you want. Uh, so let's, let's talk about XXD a little bit. So XXD is a tool that kind of behaves in the same way as hex dump. It takes an input file or an input stream for the for the standard input and turns it into a, a, a dump of hexadecimal. It doesn't just do that, it, it does it the other way around as well. So if you've got a, a hex dump, you can turn the hex dump by, back into a binary file and save it to your system. But interestingly, uh, if you go to the man page of XXD, there's this very useful option here, the dash I include that basically turns um, your hex dump into a C style array so you can put it in your code. And that's exactly what I needed. That's the, you know, that would save me a lot of time in the past if I knew how to do this. So let's see what I actually mean. So if you do XXD minus I, and then put that one by one dot PNG, it gives you exactly a C style by array here that you can just basically copy and paste into C++ or your C code, or even Python as well, if you just want to put it into a list of integers representing um, by each element. You can do that in Python as well. It's, it's very useful. So essentially, we just turned an image file into a C style um, byte array here. So you can go ahead and copy this into your code. You can use it anywhere you want in, in your C++ or C code. It'll work just fine. However, you know, take a step further. I've got the uh, compiler explorer here, and I'm actually going to recommend you um, doing uh, things in a, a more modern way, because although this is a C style array, um, if you're including this kind of stuff in your code, so if you've got like a little image that you're including in your binary and you're distributing within your, your program, uh, you should probably put it in a static uh, const expert array. So this is what we're going to do here. Let me just show you what I mean. So what I've essentially done here is I've copied the contents of this array here into a std array of uint 8t uh, called image. And again, I've put the size here. So C++ knows, knows exactly what size our array has. And I copied all the contents inside it. And you can reference to this array in your C++ code in the same way as you reference other uh, containers. For example, there's a dot size here. You can also get the pointer to the array with a dot data member and etc. This is a much more sort of modern way to turn your files into C++ static const expert array so you can use it readily in your code by using the xxd command here, which is a Linux command. 
and std array okay and this is very useful for example if you've got functions that basically take a pointer to your binary blob and and a size so sort of a fat pointer for example if you're working with images it's very common in image manipulation apis to have functions that take a pointer to the binary image and the size of of, of the binary blob for example this one here So, you know, this is just a, a dummy function that I created here. For example, you might have a resize image function where it takes the data, the points to the data and the size. And this is very common within computer vision libraries. And you can call that function in this manner here with the, uh, the array that we just created. So you can just say something like, you know, resize image and then passing the image data and the size. And this would work just fine. Okay, so this is very useful. Again, I'm just going to reiterate that. Very useful if you have small binary files that you want to basically include in your code. And you can see here, you know, you've got to be very wary of this kind of thing because it does add to your binary size. As you can see here, all of my data uh, was basically included in the um, in my data section here. OK, and yes, yeah, you can if you put O2, you'll probably optimize it a little bit. Just be aware that the more the bigger the array you have, you're more likely to have a bigger binary as well. OK, so I've, I've used this kind of stuff for images. I've used it for text files, for shader files, for my OpenGL programs and even things like, you know, testing keys for encryption, which obviously I don't recommend doing because that's very unsafe. Do not store keys in your program because everyone can see the contents here, especially if it's not optimized very well. The, you might find that all of the uh, the contents that you've added to the array here will be available in a binary. Um, so in this case here, I think you actually optimized it a little bit. So it's not showing the whole thing, showing any of it because I haven't used any of the content. So the compiler was smart enough to figure that out. So it's not here, but you know, just, just be aware of that. Okay. And just as a last note, this is a, obviously a Linux tool, so it should be available in all of the major distributions of Linux. However, if you're on windows and if you've installed something like uh, git bash for example you should also find this tool in there so you can use it on windows so xxd should be available here yeah you can see that it is so xxd is there i've encoded my vim file my vim info uh, file into <laughs> cra just just to test it so it is available in git bash in case you want to use it on windows as well and I'm going to leave the video here and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, visit my website. And in case you've got any comments, any suggestions or questions, feel free to comment down below. And yeah, thank you very much and bye bye.